Thanks for stopping by another episode of Browser Builds. Today we're taking the v2.4 from this and we're going to get it here. Starting with the parts that are going today, we have the WS7040, the rear exhaust cover, we have the CPAP pass-through, the PG7 pass-through, the PTFE threaded connector and the inlet, as well as the VZBOT intake muffler that's been modified to fit the exhaust grill. The control board for the WS7040, the CPAP hose, the stealth winner faceplate with CPAP attachment, as well as two-piece tool headboard support. Before getting going on the install, I ran a quick test print as a benchmark. Be sure to check the description for all files used in this video. The build starts with everyone's favorite thing, and that's heat set inserts. Very satisfying, very quick. The bomb covers all of the required hardware and is available for download through the printables. The intake muffler is secured with a single M3x6 button head cap screw. An additional four are then used to secure the CPAP inlets to the self burner faceplate. Two M3x8 socket head cap screws then secure the CPAP pass-through. Two M2x10 then secure the board to the mount. Three M3x35 are then used to attach the CPAP retention bracket to the rear exhaust cover. Two M3x12 button head caps then attach the bracket for the PCB to the rear exhaust. I then routed the cable for better cable management. MacGyvered a couple of holes in order to mount the CPAP with cable ties. I then spent far too much time soldering, heat shrinking, sleeving, and crimping one of the nicest power cables that I don't think anyone's ever going to see again. In order for the CAN bus cable to be routed through the rear exhaust, it first had to be removed from the Z chain. The AB motor wires then had to be reorganized and replaced into the chain. With the CAN bus cable fished out of the electronics bay and the old exhaust removed from the back panel, the back panel was ready for reinstallation. The CPAP panel goes back in with the original M5x10s. The smart filament sensor was reinstalled. The 24 volt ground and signal were then attached to the control board. I then installed some cable management and ran all of the wires down to the electronics compartment. I then connected the signal wire to an empty end stop port and the 24 and ground to the power supply. The exhaust grill and muffler were then attached. The hot end cooling fan, the LEDs, and the PCB were then recovered from the old faceplate to be reused in the new CPAP converted faceplate. With the faceplate reattached, we could then secure it, reattach the CAN bus cable, and route it through the rear exhaust. Everything that runs to the tool head from the exhaust was then measured for fitment. At the back of the machine, the CAN bus cable was then routed and branded electronics bay where it was reconnected. One of the easiest config updates I think I've ever made was then done. The first print was done on the old setup with the 5015 at full speed and supports and turned out awful. The second print was done on the old setup the 5015 at 100% and no supports. And the third was done on the new setup the CPAP printed 50% faster. We can then look at the stress tests performed. So you see the overhangs in the old setup were rough about halfway up and the bridging capabilities left quite a bit of sag leading to a split. Whereas after the installation of the CPAP, the overhangs look good almost up to about 80%. And the bridging is not greatly improved, but the split is less noticeable. I also want to send a huge thanks out to Flag and Stool Engineering. You'll find all of his stuff linked below. Without him, this video would not have been possible. 
He gladly remixed the faceplate to make it accept the tool head board. He modified the VZBot muffler to fit onto the modified grill. He was great to work with and also does commission and pro bono work, so feel free to reach out to him. A sneak peek for those of you who suck around this long. Next week, we will be starting a Micron Plus build. As always, thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to help the channel grow. And we will catch you in the next video.